There's really nothing new about multimedia art combining the visual and audio media. It's uh, become a common practice, but what these two guys you're about to meet is something different. Artist Marcus Brown uh, does electronic, elect is electrosonic? Electrosonic. electrosonic painting. He's here with uh, his friend, uh, Nathan Wiedenhaft, and uh, they've got a process of artwork that you, it's hard to explain, but it, it, you almost have to show what you're doing. Now, you have a piece of canvas here, and, and then it, it's wired with some kind of uh, uh, electrodes or something like that? How does it work? Right. Well, uh, basically, it's the same idea as a, uh, any other instrument. It's almost like a keyboard, uh, yeah, but, exactly. but, but on, an, on an art palette. Right. It's, just, it's, a, it's what we call, Nathan and I like to call this an electrosonic surface. Uh, electrosonic painting surface. So when I touch it, uh, the surface it makes a sound. So that's a pretty, the basically we try to say it's like uh, painting with a microphone. And now, uh, do, do you have like a, a music program in the computer, and then and then can you vary things? I mean, could you could you get like a, a violin sound or a piano sound or a harp sound or whatever? Yeah, I'll let Nathan answer that one for you. Yeah, we um, basically what we have going on is we we take the signals that we get and they go into a computer software program that I designed and it turns it so into... So this had never been done before? No, we're making it up as we go, which yeah, is why it's, it's unpredictable and it's also um, extremely fun. And so really, can, can, can you actually compose music on or, or is it, is it kind of like, like wherever your fingers go, that, that's how it is? I mean, could you actually, like, like if you had a tune in your head, could you play it on there? You could, you could probably play it if you figured out. It's, um, it's the same concept as a, as a piano you figure but out you where you the have keys to are, hit yeah. it. Yeah, where you have to hit it after you play with it for a while. Um, you know, I, when I'm at home and I'm playing, um, when I'm doing work on it, I can figure out where I need to hit it to hit certain notes. And now, now and it, it, um, you get all the, all the music and stuff while you're making the art. What about when it's done, when you finish your painting and the music has been composed with it? I mean, how do you meld the two together then? Video is a real uh, strong component. Sound and video are very important because and just sound recording. I mean, I, I just, uh, for example, um, I just got finished doing a solo album that's one painting, and every layer is actually a track, like a song. Yeah. And um, actually, Nathan just produced uh, this album for me uh, because he was out of town, and we were kind of doing long distance uh, communication. But I wrote music, and then for same thing, uh, exactly what Nathan said. You got to figure out where to hit it. It was difficult, but it was actually really fun, and now I have a video showing the process. And so do you consider kind of yourself more of an artist or a musician or both? I, I mean, I think artist is a very artist, universal yeah. term. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's easier to say just And, and now, now once you've got a painting done, I mean, when it hangs on the wall, is there music with it all the time? Right. Oh, exactly. okay. Um, I mean, it's a song that was created while you were finger painting or whatever. Exactly. Is, it, is it finger painting? No, I would say Marcus uses a variety of objects. He uses, um, he's got some brushes, he's got some print blocks, um, basically anything. You know, we just got done doing a summer program at Country Day, the first ever electrosonic painting program. All right. and and the kids did finger painting. And we're going to come back in a few minutes and watch you do this. Uh, 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 Marcus and Nathan uh, will per be performing their electrosonic painting at the opening of their exhibit at the Ogden Museum uh, of Art as part of White Linen Night. The annual White Linen Night celebration will be on Saturday from 6 till 9 p.m. And you guys will be at the Ogden Museum doing this and creating works that night. Yes. Right. All right. It'll be kind of cool to watch that. Uh, anyway, if you'd like more information on what they do, you can go to uh, Marcus's website at marcusbrown.org or call it. No, what's the number on the screen? Is that the uh, Ogden? I believe, that's, that's, the I believe so. that's yes. Ogden. Okay, at uh, 539-9600. And we'll come back and watch you do some of what you do coming up in a couple of seconds. Stay right there.
some of the music tones are and stuff. Right. There's a lot of pre, just like a musician studies a piece of music. Do you ever use your fingers? Yeah, I do. Um, depends on what I'm doing. Sort of, the colors don't make a difference, it's the actual touching the board. Right. They can make a difference depending on what, you know, we use. Today we're not doing anything that has any kind of visual. Yeah. But the, but the colors of the visual, the actual touching it is where the music comes. I kind of like the red with a the crescendo there that uh, was kind of cool. We get more. Sally, you like that? No, I think I, you should get some paint and go ahead and, and just... It is kind of cool the way it does that. This is really nice, and Warming you might be marketing this one day, the software and all that. That's and the one, the one thing I did, I did ask, I said, could you paint a piano keyboard on there and actually play a song? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> but it just it be might look different. a little yeah. weird. <laughs> oh. Some keys would be a uh, random... All right, we got to go have a great day. Thanks for coming in, guys, and, and you'll you. be at the Thanks Augie Museum and White Linen Night. Yes. Sir. All right, uh, look for these guys. They're great. Anyway, we'll see you back here at noon. Have a good day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.